Hello everybody. So uh, now after um, knowing the uh, the system of units and that we have different units that we can use to express the same quantity, um, it's, it's one thing that we face a lot in our engineering applications is that we have a quantity expressed in a specific unit and you need to express it in another unit while which is a very important thing that you need to keep the value you want to make sure that the value is kept constant while you change the number and the uh, the units so um, the the this is one of the skills that we have to acquire um, and it's a very very basic and fundamental skill that we need almost in all our applications in all our chemical engineering applications so this is something that we have to master a skill you have to acquire and be very very good at um, and this, when you go through this unit conversion, the tricky part is how can you do this conversion? And this can be <coughs> uh, expressed in this question. Shall I divide or multiply by the conversion factor? Given that you know the conversion factor and assuming that you know the conversion factor, uh, it's, it's sometimes a tricky question is shall I divide by thousand or multiply by thousand? Shall I divide by the whatever the factor is or multiply by it? This is a very tricky thing. The second thing, uh, especially especially if you have something like this, like the combined units, if you have kilometers per hour uh, and you want to convert this 100 kilometers per hour to meters per second, so you, you know that the conversion of kilometer to meter is, uh, or the factor is 1000 and from hour to second is 60 by 60, uh, hour to minute and then minute to second. Uh, but shall I multiply by 1000 over 3600 or the opposite or whatever it's it's uh, it's a tricky thing so the first is what factor shall i use and shall i divide or multiply by the factor or how can i calculate this factor correctly <clears throat> and since this is a very tricky thing we will uh, we will go through a very systematic way to do this but before that we need to know uh, the conversion factors what are the factors that we can use to do the conversion we have already gone through some of them uh, when we talked about the systems of units and um, here we had some conversions for the SI units but this was from SI to SI these are all SI units and the uh, multiples and fractions of the SI uh, parameters um, more or less uh, and we went through some in the American units um, and we had here some uh, some conversions but they are also within the same system of units now we need to know uh, the conversion in general uh, if you have something in american to si or from si to cgs or whatever the the system of unit that we have how can we do the conversion so uh, the conversion of units uh, from american to uh, to si uh, i will just go through some of them and then we will see the the, the whole list of conversions so for the distance for example we have uh, inch to centimeter the factors here would be would be tricky they're not straightforward as uh, those of si to si were so here uh, again you'll not find any number that's repeated twice uh, they're all just numbers so from inch to centimeter is 2.54 from foot to centimeter 30.48 from mile to meter 16.09 uh, the same for mass we have the pound which is the pound for for mass uh, it's 453.6 grams the ounce is 28.35 grams um, one thing that's very important is what we mentioned before and i'm i'm, I'm stressing on this because uh, students always uh, feel feel not very very familiar with this and don't get used to this easily is that the conversion from uh, pound to pound mole is the same as pound to uh, I, mean, I mean I'm sorry from from um, uh, gram to kilogram mole is the same as gram to kilogram uh, and the same here from pound to gram is the same as pound mole to gram mole it's the same way we we treat the mass is the same way we treat the moles okay so this is the same conversion factor this is uh, it's a kind of famous uh, conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You multiply by 1.8 and then add 32, um, the gallon to liters, and then the pressure one atmosphere is 14.696 psi, which is the uh, pound per square inch. Um, anyway, so these are some examples, and then we will go through the whole table. The this table is uh, is a table that would be. Uh, 
uh, something that you, you will need a lot uh, in, in, um, in your next uh, courses in chemical engineering and in your practical life later is the conversion of units. It's in the textbook. Um, you need to, to, to be fa very familiar with it. I'll go through it quickly. Um, here it gives us the, uh, the equivalent values, which is the conversion factors. And it's another way of expressing the conversion factor for each quantity. So first we start with mass. We have kilogram to gram to ton to pound mass to ounces and um, starting with one pound to the rest of the units. We have here the length of meter um, to centimeter, millimeter, microns, angstroms, inch, foot, yard, miles, and the same for foot to inch to yard to meter to centimeter. So we have here the conversions within the American units and from American to SI, and the same here. Within SI and then from SI to American. These two factors would be would be very related because conversion from one meter to foot is the opposite of foot to meter. So if you um, raise this to the power of minus one, it's going to give you this number and the vice versa, of course. Here we have the volumes. Um, we mentioned all these units before, so I'm not going to go through all the, the conversions, but just want to um, go through them uh, easily. We have here uh, the force. I'm, I'm going to uh, talk about the force in details in the next slide, but just uh, I'll, I'll mention some things here. Uh, that we have here Newton is kilogram meter per second squared it's well known and then we have a dyne dyne is the uh, CGS unit of force so the dyne is gram centimeter per second squared so it's exactly uh, kilogram meter per second squared but in CGS units um, the same here for um, you'll have here pressure atmosphere Pascal, kilopascal, bar, dynes per centimeter square which is equivalent to Newton per meter square um, of course, we have uh, millimeter mercury, meter water, uh, we have PSI, um, and then for the energy, we have joule, newton, meter square, uh, newton multiplied by meter, and we have the erg. The erg is dyne multiplied by centimeter, which is newton multiplied by meter. So erg is like joule for the CGS units. Um, Anyway, so this is, uh, there is there is one more unit here which is very, very important. Uh, we have here the units of energy, newton meter, ergs, dyne centimeter. Kilowatt hour is a very, very famous unit. It's used in, 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 um, in the, to, to, to measure the electric energy uh, a lot. Um, this is kilowatt hour, uh, which is uh, uh, units of energy, as, as I mentioned. We have here BTU. BTU is a, a unit used especially in the field of um, um, the, the, the fuels to express the energy of fuels, uh, especially for natural gas. So for natural gas, you don't express the, the, the cost of, of natural gas by, by mass or by volume. You express it by how, how much energy it produces. So you say that it produces uh, 1,000 BTUs. So for each 1,000 BTUs, you pay that much, this much money. And this is something that's very common in, in the natural gas. You say that the cost of natural gas is um, the how much dollars per thousand BTUs, which is the the uh, uh, the, the energy unit. The uh, the BTU stands for, and this is what I mentioned when I talked about the unit system before, that this used to be a British unit system. BTU is the British thermal unit. So the unit that that is used to express the energy in the American unit is the British thermal unit. So this this is because, as I mentioned before, it used to be a British system and then it converted or, or it was uh, tailored to be an American unit later. Uh, finally, we have the power. Uh, we have calorie per second, joule per second, uh, BTU per second, and horsepower. Okay. So um, this is this is the list of units. Uh, I I want to talk about the force because it's a little tricky for the when it comes to the American unit. So regarding the force, the force is according to Newton's law, it is mass multiplied by acceleration and it has dimensions of mass distance over time power two. So it's MLT power minus two. Uh, the, the units of force, it's uh, in SI units, it's Newton. One Newton is kilogram meter per second square, MLT power minus two. In CGS units, it's the dyne. One dyne is one gram centimeter per second square, which is very, very straightforward, very logical, very easy to understand. For the American units, it is uh, 
cool pound force. So this is the first thing that, and I'll, I'll go back to the previous slide. We have, um, we have two pounds. There is a mass pound, which is pound sub m, which is pound mass. And I don't know why, yeah, and, and then we have the force, it's pound force. Uh, the, the, for some reason, they use the same, the same term to express two different quantities. The pound is used to express the mass, and it's called pound mass, and the pound is used to express the force, and it's called pound force, which is uh, um, something that is uh, weird for me, but maybe there is a reason. But anyway, so this is the first thing that the unit that's used to express the force is like Newton and Dine, we have pound force. The second thing is I would expect that the, the, the pound force would be one uh, pound mass uh, foot per second square. But the surprise here is that it's not one. It's pound mass foot per second square, but it's not one. It's 32.174 for some reason that I don't understand. But maybe it was a unit that's used before and it has already, uh, it was already, already defined. And when they wanted to convert it to the rest of the units, it had this factor. But anyways, uh, just to, to, to make it clear for you, because it's a very big source of confusion that the unit of, of mass and force in, SI, in American units are both pound. This is pound force and this is pound mass. And the pound force is not one pound mass foot per second square. It's not one, it is 32.174. So uh, it's, it's very important to pay attention to this uh, subscripts for the pound. Uh, usually if we don't put subscript, it's mass. If we put subscript, then uh, it's clear, is it either it's mass or force, okay? So this is the uh, the first thing we need to know about the unit conversion. Um, we still have one more uh, one more quantity to discuss, which is the temperature. But I'll keep it for the next video. So I'll see you then, John. Goodbye.